Hello um, everyone, welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be showing you how to um, download and live stream or record um, YouTube videos or Twitch. Well, not really Twitch, just YouTube. So anyway, what you want to do to get started is you want to go to this website right here. Nope, well, not that. Um, to go down to this one where it says obsproject.com click on that it will take you to this download it and then it will do this thing right here just let it install take your time right um so you want to wait until it's done. Right, so it's done now. Click open. Now you can close off of this now. Click yes. And then just click next. Oh, just follow everything on there. I can't casually run the wizard because I'm currently using OBS right now. So anyway, after you've done that, you want to make sure you go into um, you want to make sure you go into YouTube Studio. Type that in. Go right down until you see youtubestudio.com. studio.youtube same thing. Then just let it load. And then you want to go down to settings and you want to go to um, where is it now? Yeah, you want to go to channel, then you want to go to feature eligibility. Now, this one, um, you need, you don't need that, right? Yeah, all the need for this is no community guideline strike, so. When you first start YouTube, you'll automatically have that. But with this, right, this is the one, the main thing you want in right here, live streaming. So you need default features, which is this, and you need to verify your phone number, okay? So when you enable that, then you want to click on this little circle here, it says go live. But if you have just done your phone number in, in the last step, you will need to wait 24 hours before you can access this because YouTube needs to verify and whatnot. So if I just, so let me just do what yours will look like. Um, and then we'll just do that and then create. So yours won't say recording but that's basically what it is and all this will be blank let's see if we can right, let's just put a dot there and then yeah that, so yours will look like this basically well kind of similar so I normally have this enabled here and then none of us and you want it on normal stream latency well that's why I have it on anyway don't know about you guys so this bit tells you how many viewers and playbacks and all that you've had and you can differ from chat rate and all that and there the graph so that's decent and then you can get stream health so basically what this does is when you click on here start streaming They'll come up here saying um, good or bad or poor. If it says poor, um, like mine does a lot, it is fine. It just says poor because YouTube um, doesn't have like... How do I put this? So on your streaming software, your resolution, you can change it. And it will say poor if your resolution isn't what YouTube likes. So the higher the resolution you've got on your streaming software is the higher quality that YouTube can actually put your content as. 
Anyway, let's go back on stream settings. Then you want to click edit. Um, I don't know, test. So that will be your title and your description. And then restrictions, this would be like made for kids and whatnot, I'm pretty sure that is. But I don't use that. Then if you are doing gaming, you choose what type of live stream you are doing. I always have it on gaming. Then say I was doing Roblox, you just type that in and then click right here, there. And then that would automatically go to Roblox. Right on thumbnail, just click that and then click add a thumbnail or if you first do it, it'll say add a thumbnail, but after it'll say change, you just change it. You can put the live stream into a playlist. And now, if you do want live chat, here's the um, most important part of this. If you want live chat, you have to have it on no, it's not made for kids. Then, um, when you put no, it's not made for kids, that will only restrict it to 18 plus at that moment. But if you go on to advanced, click down and click no don't restrict my viewers that will give you um, live chat just with made for kids it goes on like I don't know YouTube kids or something so um, if I click yes yeah, it won't actually let me have live chat now this is just what you put in I don't know um, the tags and then the rest is just the stuff you want and all that so basically now you've installed OBS you want to add a game capture so let's say I want Roblox let's open Roblox yeah let's do that and then, I don't know let's join base plate yeah yeah a literal base plate so So I do that, let me close that. Now what you want to do is you want to go to capture a specific window. Oh, capture a specific window. And you want to click on window. A minute, let Roblox load. Oh great, Roblox has got an update. Oh and also you want the window match priority on um, match title otherwise find window of same type okay yeah and then it should come on in a second in there any second oh yeah you want to click Roblox and then click OK and then it will literally be over here transform say fit to screen I don't know and then put that like I don't know there why is it not one minute why is it not why is it not picking it up oh find same type X that no let's try and no that's not working but anyway that's what I do if you can see I just added this like cat just for the sake of it you know um, so I hadn't had oh wait it's loaded there so if I no that's oh it's because I've got it visible over here isn't it it's because I've got it enabled somewhere but I don't know so that's what you want to do that's how you get like games and all that now you want to go on to settings I'll show you the precise settings I have um, you don't want to change any of these these are fine they all are fine also theme dark mode is the best never have a light mode um, I'll come back to this in a second so the output you want to go on to output mode then click advanced and you want it on balanced high you want that on that's meant to be zero but okay well it does it automatically if you click zero you want rate control CBR and 900 you want B frames to be free and that's all I change on that because I don't really do videos and then these I don't touch as well 
you want video I normally have it four six sash nine samples just so it's not too laggy and not that fast that it's um, blurry so I have it on four six nine and then normally at 20 fps now the hotkeys I have nothing to do with that and this I don't do anything with this oh wait yeah so automatically reconnect this is for if your internet goes off you want to have it on retry delay um, I normally have it on every one second and then put this at like I don't know 67 or something and then that's really it for that so with this right this is your stream key right right here so what you want to do is you want to click on um, so it'll come up with these you click YouTube go on to primary and then click that so say that's my stream key right there you want to delete that go on to view copy so as you can see that's our stream key paste that hide um, save so now when I click this button you will be able to see this it will start a live stream straight away on YouTube alright so that is how to go live and do a video so right now I am just going to reset the stream key so you guys cannot take it there it is reset so good luck trying to find it anyway um, goodbye thank you for watching and see you later